Vanessa Bryant used social media to publicly name several L.A. County Sheriff's deputies who she says shared graphic photos from last year's deadly helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, their daughter, and seven others. At the center of all this is a new lawsuit that Bryant just filed against the department. NBC4I team investigator Eric Leonard has the latest developments for us. Eric. Hi, Carolyn. It was clear that Vanessa Bryant's legal team was going to file new court papers with much more detail about these photos after the judge ruled that all information could now be made public. Well, those documents were filed this week, and they offer very specific accusations about who she believes did what. Throughout Vanessa Bryant's new legal filing called a first amended complaint, not only does it name the deputies, but it provides specific information drawn from an L.A. County Sheriff's Department's internal investigation. Page 10, allegations one deputy showed the photos of Kobe Bryant's body at the Baja California Bar and Grill in Norwalk, where days after the helicopter crash, it's alleged, the bartender loudly boasted to all inside that he'd just seen them. Page 11, another deputy deputy shared pictures with a personal friend with whom the deputy plays video games nightly. Page 12, one detective said there were so many corpse photos being exchanged, he could not even identify the name of the deputy who sent him the photos. Another main allegation in the lawsuit that in the days after the crash, Sheriff Alex Villanueva went to the Lost Hills Sheriff Station in Agoura, close to the crash scene, and told deputies just to promise to destroy the photos, and in exchange, none would face disciplinary action. Here's what Villanueva told us when the photo investigation became public. That was my number one priority, is to make sure those photos no longer exist. Vanessa Bryant's legal case says that amounted to the destruction of evidence of a possible crime. Last week, a federal judge ruled against L.A. County, which was trying in court to hide from the public the names of the deputies and the nature of the accusations. The identities of police officers, and in particular police officers who've been accused of misconduct, is generally public information. California's First Amendment Coalition, which advocates for greater access to government and records, says the judge's ruling is a victory for the public and for transparency in cases of alleged police misconduct, amplified uniquely in this case because of Kobe Bryant's international fame. It will be broadcast uh, across Southern California and across the country that this kind of information has to be uh, public when it's filed in a court record. It's, it's great to remind judges and police departments of that fact. Sheriff Villanueva has said in social media messages that uh, he'll refrain from trying this case in the media and said he'll wait for the appropriate venue. The union for the sheriff's deputy says it respects the judge's decision but says it has concerns for the privacy of all involved. Vanessa Bryant's legal case is not expected to go to trial for many more months. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News.